when you're falling I'll be there above all Ah, uh, you're right, you're right. Well, I suppose I'll just have to return another time then. Yes, until next time. Oh, I should also probably move it to a more accurate background. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, just just so that uh, it's out there. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I could go to that pool and just connect brains and then read their brains or something. But then I'm going, all right, as a weak-willed character, <laughs> I understand what happened last time I tried doing that. Yes. It work out. So mm -hmm. maybe not more things in my brain. Maybe maybe I'll pull back from that for a bit. Maybe that's a bad idea. Okay, back to Scrap. You finished your Euro, and Walter seems to have mercifully left you alone. Oh my god. Well, fine. Uh, well, it's, it's late. I know, I mean, I know Pyle's fine. He's, he's, he's not, he always tends to, whenever someone tries to pick him up, because his, his pieces tend to roll away, just kind of hide away somewhere, so he's fine. Yeah. But um, I guess it's time to find a place to stay. You know, I could probably hit up that one place I was in before. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, you know, popping into buildings, seeing if I can find something that's empty and nice looking. Nice enough. Well, are you willing to spend money? <laughs> you know? Don't badmouth blind Jake. He's a saint. Yeah, he's a saint of blind people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to see if I can, you know, like a roach motel or something. There's got to be something down here. A coffin motel, probably. <laughs> coffin motel! Oh, uh, yeah. Those sure, that's where it's like, it's literally just like beds in the wall. Yeah. There are several of those affordable ones that you can find. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's I'll, like a I'll drawer in the wall. I know is more trustworthy than others because I'm sure you sure these are as shady as all get out. Mm hmm. In this one, we don't harvest your organs. Yep. You think about uh, it, though. Th there's one that is quite elegantly named Like Beds in the Wall, but in the Floor. It has a very large sign. You know, we're not very creative people down here. No. Uh, well, you know, it rolls right off the tongue. I'll yeah. pop in the front door. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, is anybody at their front desk area? Yeah. There's a. There's a front desk, and there's a there's a um, receptionist sitting there, and she's just like, um, she's got the uh, nail file, yeah, filing her right. nails, looking down at a uh, crossword puzzle. Well, I'll, I'll pop in. I'm not I'm not strutting or anything, but I'm not hiding. It's just like yeah. as nonchalant as possible. I don't want them to think I have money. She does not look up. Perfect. I, I, is it the countertop? Is it wood? Is it metal? Is it, I don't think it's stone. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it's made out of duraplast. So Perfect. it's this weird plasticky. Uh, I'll, I'll tap on it with a, with a, with a giant gloved knuckle. <laughs> so you, you tap it. on it with a giant gloved knuckle and she's not going to look up. And, and, and then from the back you hear, Charlene! We got a customer! And she's just gonna, like, look up very slowly. And then, like, look over the counter. And she's like, Oh, how can I help you, young lad? Uh, Charlene, uh... Just one night. Need room for a night, please. One night? Would you like the standard or deluxe hole? It's standard is fine. Alright. So here's your harness key. She hands over uh, this weird little key towards you. It's like, and uh, would you like to sign up for a nutrient drip program? It'll put the uh, it'll put the spring back in your step. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm I'm okay. No nutrient drip. Okay. No. Would you be interested in our program? No, no. I just I just need the room, Shirley, and thank you. Okay, would you like to sign up for Continental Breakfast? Yes, yes, I would very much like Continental Breakfast. Okay, that'll be this much extra, a non-specified amount. I will give her a non-specified amount of cash. 
Okay, there you go. Good night. And she immediately looks back down to the crossword puzzle. That's fine, as long as she's not talking to me anymore. Okay, I will <laughs> I will take my key, and I will... I guess I'll go to bed, and I'll dream of continental breakfast. Mm -hmm. And so what this bed is like is you find the uh, the numbered hatch on the floor with your key on it, and you do notice that the entire lobby does seem to be the entire hotel. Because there are these hatches, like beds in the walls, but in the floor! Oh, God. <laughs> Why um, did I... Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, you find a little hatch, and you can get your fingers under the crack and lift it up, and there's this dark hole, and it's got this harness sitting in it. This is This is just all kinds of bad. <laughs> but... You know, I can defend myself. I'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Do you step down into the harness? I step down into the dark. No big deal. All right. You step down into the harness, and you uh, and there's a little keyhole in the uh, in the harness right around where the uh, shoulders are. I guess I put the key in the hole. That's All right. You, uh, you you key yourself in. And you feel these little gel packs expand to kind of cradle you hanging there. Oh, what the fuck? It's actually surprisingly comfortable. Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> and the uh, the hatch above you starts to slide closed automatically. Okay, deep breaths. It's comfy. It like slides slowly, and then with a little uh... click, you're left in complete darkness. Okay. You know what? I, I usually prefer street lights or anything. Maybe whatever's left of the moon's light that comes down. But the complete darkness is fine. Just no just, big deal. Just hanging there in your jolly jumper. Hanging there, just like a con, con, I'm thinking happy thoughts about continental breakfast. <laughs> At least this will probably be the second most comfortable sleep you've had in a while. Yeah. What did you sleep on before? Just like a whole bunch of scrap. Well, no, I piles of rags. It's fine. Um, nice. I guess I'll, I'll try to go to sleep. All right. You have no idea how long it takes you to fall asleep. No, I don't. It's, it's in the fucking pitch black darkness. <laughs> so, you, uh, so as that's happening, uh, we're going to go to Walter. So I'm guessing you're having a different experience. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Well, you have uh you ha you you got this little apartment. What is it like? It's probably very Spartan. I haven't filled yeah. it with anything yet. You got to order stuff off Amazon first. I have to find out what people like. <laughs> you got to fit in. Yeah, I you got to get employed at the Amazon factory to get your bonus to buy stuff from the Amazon factory. <laughs> no, you, you guys you... do not remember what I do. Just get all your furniture from Ikea 2. Nobody's got time to put together Ikea furniture. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, I'm a time travel. Maybe you should just order a bed hole. Just, just order a bed hole. Sleep in the floor. I wouldn't have bought a whole floor of a building if I wanted a hole to sleep in. Who does that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you can use your quickness to assemble IKEA furniture. I literally but... could. That's what it's for. That's why I made the joke. Nobody's got time for that. Oh, uh, ha ha! Time travel jokes. I mean, I could put together an IKEA bed in like a second, less than a yeah. second. So. Yes. So, you're a. Uh... I, 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 I'm just imagining you sitting in, like, a folding chair in the middle of this room in complete silence, wondering, oh, God, what do I do now? Yeah, it's like, what's the next event that happens? Yeah. So... I guess maybe I'll go to the library. Honestly, some sort of feature of future foretelling might actually be really good for you. Well, yeah. it's not so much that, because, I mean... I do that now. Well, I mean, it's like it's a thing you constantly do that you do through other powers by going back. But if you want to story-wise look forward, 
Well, and that's what I'm saying. It's what I do right now. I don't age, so I just live forwards and then go back. Yes. If you do have future sense, you could try to divinate actually important details. Well, the the idea here is from not so much in what I'm doing as the character <laughs> is a less meta way. I don't want to div- uh, divine things that are going to happen because I don't want to fuck with things that are about to happen. I'm, I only want to fuck with things that are happening. Yeah. If that makes more sense. Because if I can start guessing what's going to happen, I'm going to mess with it before it happens. We don't yes. want that. You don't want that. I don't want that. No, it, like, like it'll be very vague things. Like, you get a glimpse of something. Or you get a, you, you get like a phrase. Because important plot details tend to be murky for some reason. Right. That's what I'm saying. I don't mess with the important stuff. I mess with the yeah. non-important stuff. But if you're like, oh, you get this one phrase. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to keep saying that phrase to everybody. And then I'll rewind so they don't remember me saying it. And I'm just going to be that forever. It's like, no, that's not good. Oof. Yeah. I'm trying to police myself. <laughs> but I'm also trying to have fun with it. Mm-hmm. So you're going to head off to the library. Yeah. And as you're walking along, you actually see a crowd of people gathered on the sidewalk uh, in front of you, and they, they're all looking up, and one guy looks like he has a megaphone. They're all gathering and looking and pointing up. Okay. Uh, and and as you're like wa- up walking towards them, uh, the the guy on the megaphone just goes, "Don't do it!" And you look up. Ab- well, I don't know if you would look up above, but well, I mean, it's still uh, it's a jumper, so yeah. So there, there there's a guy standing on the uh, uh, on the wind uh, windowsill of a window. He's clutching a briefcase. He's looking a bit rattled, to say the least. Okay. I'll just uh, make a right-hand turn, go into an alley, change into my outfit, within, like, a blink of an eye so nobody can actually see me. Then I will <laughs> run up the building. Do you, so, so you, like, do you run up the side of the building yeah. uh, slow enough that people can see it happen? No. Okay. So you just, whoosh, you just bamf up to the top, pretty much. Yep. And I do you just, like, appear... Wall crawling. <laughs> Do you just, like, appear right beside the guy? Oh, no, I grab the guy, and then we're gonna go to the roof. Jeez! Okay, so... If you gotta fall, fall the spectacular way. Yeah, so you grab him, go to the top, and, like, all he commands is like, ha! before he's already at the top of the building. All right, and I, uh, I look at him, and I say, what's all that about? <laughs> he's gonna, like, stagger, and he does... Uh, so, no, okay. I'm gonna make this interesting. So, you take him off the top, he's like, oh, whoa! And he, like, staggers and falls off the edge. Okay, I run back down and catch him. Okay, so you, um... You know what? Mm. I mean, if he's staggering... Back up time, like, five yeah, seconds. Yeah, well, like, no, I'm, like, it's not even... Further from the edge. Well, it's not even that. I don't have to back up time for here. If he's staggering, I've got quickness 20. I can see sure. it happening. And I move faster than, well, faster than all, I would say thought, but I have no idea how fast thought is. I'm not faster than light either. Electricity speed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I can race lightning. I can probably get behind this guy before he just tips over to the back of the building by accident. Yeah. Yeah. So, you do that, and he's like, huh, <laughs> and, and you, you ask him, like, what's that all that about? And he's like, uh, uh. I've got nothing to live for. My, uh, I lost my job. My wife was fucking Jared. Fucking I, Jared. I thought he liked Jared's kids. Jared's an asshole. Yeah. Don't get it. Uh, and you know, if I can't keep this job, they're gonna foreclose my house. They're gonna take my dog. But you know, that's really, that's really gonna hurt, though. What? It's gonna hurt. You're gonna hit the ground, and it's gonna hurt. And it might not even kill you, which is really the damning part. I imagine I'm looking over the edge while I'm saying this. 
Yeah. That's a long fall, too. You didn't have time to think about it. Uh, well, I, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about the crunch, but it, it'll, it'll, it'll be over, at least. That's what I'm saying. You might not be. You might bounce. You could just break every bone in your body and just be in excruciating pain for as long as you live. And then not be able to do anything about it, because you've broken your only means of, you know, motion. You're not... You're not very good at this, are you? What? Are you still thinking about it, knowing that you might survive and just be in excruciating agony for the rest of your life? Um... He's gonna, like, clutch his briefcase a bit harder, and he's like... I mean, how would that make anything better? I guess you're right, but we're 80 stories up, I don't think... People have survived uh, uh, jumping out of planes from higher and still survived. Yeah, yeah. It's very, yeah, but, it's a very popular uh, thing to get like a helicopter tour and then jump out in the middle of it. And those people, a lot of those people survive. And then they get uh, sent to the hospital, and then they get put under police supervision because they can't be trusted to be alone anymore. So you only get one shot. So you're saying I should shoot myself? Yeah, people survive that too, though. Oh. And then what are you going to be? Not going to be able to own guns anymore, I'll tell you that much. Not my... Not my Mosin. Uh, I, uh... Make, make, it, make a persuasion check. Is he persuaded by my attractiveness? I have attractive too. He is not. Alright, let's just make sure I don't have anything else. And, and I don't think I do. Not unless fascination helps me, and I don't think it does. No. Alright. Go figure. The only people we talk to are people that are not attracted to us. Holy moly! This guy loves his gun collection and not being in pain. I said, that's really all you need to be told if you're trying to kill yourself, is how painful it'll be if you fuck it up. He's like, he kind of like takes a step down and he's like, you know what? Why don't I just kill Jared instead? He's the bitch who's been sleeping with my wife. I shrug. Thanks for opening my eyes. What's your name? Kronos. Kronos, huh? Hmm. I'll be telling people a bit about you, Kronos, and how you convinced me to kill Jared. You have fun with that. Thanks. All right, now He's I'm going... going to pick him up, and I'm going to run him down to the ground. So, like, he appears down at the ground, and he's going to, uh... Uh, he's gonna heft his briefcase. He's gonna say, "I'm gonna kill a guy later today," and everyone kind of goes from like happy to what? And well, he's gonna gr he's gonna heft his briefcase and he's going to start running down the street. And he actually does a heel click. Well, the fact that uh, he just declared his intent to murder somebody—if he gets away with it, that's not on me anymore. <laughs> I mean, there was a there was a cop there with a megaphone and everything, so he just shouted that in front of everybody. That's not on me. Yeah, that's on and, the legal and, system. Yeah, the, the guy with the megaphone is gonna, gonna like stop and stun. I was like, it's gonna go like, hey, wait a second, and he's gonna run after him. Yeah, and in the, the meantime, the crowds... I've changed back into normal Walter attire and back onto the library. Okay, so you arrive at the library. It's a fairly stately building. You can tell it's a bit older than most of the other ones. And it appears to be closed currently, because it is around 10 p.m. Okay, well, I'll just go back to when it was open. Okay. So you arrive there, maybe like 6 p.m., still open, and you head up the steps. <laughs> oh, jeez, no. Do you know what I just realized? If we, If you went through this... And then just went back home. Would that guy still jump off the roof? Because you didn't go back again. Because you went back. He to would the floor. be in the process of it, but then I would. I mean, depends. When you say, what time does the library close? Hmm. What time does the library close? Like eight. Eight? Then no. I mean, because at this, I would be here. Assuming I'm here till the library closes, which I don't know if I would be or not. Uh, I got to that guy who would be jumping at 10. 
he would still be jumping at 10. It's just that I stop him at 10. Okay, so you've, like, added something to the timeline at this point. Not really. I didn't jump back around in time when I stopped that guy. So yeah. I jumped back in time after the fact, which means I still will have been stopping that guy yes. at 10. So, you're, so, so are you in two places at once right now? Uh, yeah. My head hurts. Let's not talk about this anymore. It's, it's not a big thing, because it's only if I interact with myself that it becomes a problem, and I have no intent to do that. Yes. If anything, well, I'll just never interact with myself unless I, like, buy a power to make, like, the past me and the future me minions or something. Yeah. It's not in my to-do list oh, at the moment. that'd be fantastic, though. Well, I, I, I told him about this idea before where I would have an HQ and it's filled with future and past versions of myself that are all on their own thing. Like, hey, did you run into this guy yet? No, never heard of that guy. Damn it! You know, that sort of thing. Just a yeah. bunch of... Me like, uh, the Citadel of Ricks, basically. Just from me, from all different poisons of time. Mm-hmm. We're all me here, I'm just the better version. Oh, was, oh I just imagined Caveman Walter, who works for Rockazon. Well, no, no. Beautiful. <laughs> no, because technically... <laughs> That'd I'm... be alternate universes, then, not just time yeah. paradox. Well, technically, I would be the current version of me, which is... The start of the career, so everybody would be future versions of me. Mm -hmm. And as I progress through my advancements, eventually, other ones that have been there that I have played would then become past versions of me. Like I would go there, and every whoever was this mission that we're on right now would yeah. be there, and I'd be like, they'd ask me a question, and I'd be like, "Fuck, I can't. I don't know. I don't remember." Mm hmm. But I didn't invest in that, so it's not worth talking about, even though we just did for five minutes. Okay. You're at the library. Right. It's six o'clock. I read all the books. Your head becomes swole, but you forget some of it. Right. Of course, that's to be expected, unless you have eidetic memory. Do you have eidetic memory? Nope, and I only had the one point, so... All right. Gave that up to be rich. Yes. So you read all the books, but, you know, it, like as much of it sticks as normally would, so there I are. Mean, gaps it's fine. That... It kind of helps with my well informed one, which I do have. Yeah, you get some knowledge. It's better than a new Lamborghini. I mean, I could buy a new Lamborghini. Yeah. All right. Ah, so. After draining this library of knowledge, what's the next order of business? And then I go on to rob Earth. My eyes glow. <laughs> eyes glow. Eyes glaze over. You just start exploding things. <laughs> rob Earth! <sighs> Turns out Hattori didn't disappear. I brought him back with me. Oh no! Snaps my own neck. Yeah. Okay. So. What do? I mean, I would say I'd go look for Scrap, but Scrap's not here. Yeah, Scrap's in a bed hole. No, I mean, he's yeah, literally not here. Oh, I'm no. Here. No, I'm sorry, I'm back. That is he's dead. Just watching and waiting. Oh, yeah, Don, Don's watching and waiting. Huh. Well, except that you're in, like, a isolation chamber where you... I'm watching the darkness. <laughs> Just let me sleep. <laughs> okay. So if you two are gonna continue with that, we we can go over to Benumzi's. Hello. Okay. So let's change this back. Da -da 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 -da. One more time, just confirm. The overseer is uh, just the local manager, but not the one who's actually in charge of the whole operation here, right? Yes. Okay. And the person who is is called the... It's called Seacon. Seacon. Well, 
Uh, well, that's for the uh, the entire organization. But you said like there was someone in charge of like this building in particular as an operation. Oh yes. So, so that that that'd be that be that be the overseer. The overseer okay, also. Okay. So the overseer is the uh, obvious mechanism I can actually reach to closest. Then got it. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I'm on the right track. Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead. Uh, what are we gonna say? Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna go see the overseer then. Okay. So you can go up to the overseer's quarters by following the black line on the ground. Okay, black line. Keep focus. Mm -hmm. Long. So, so as you're following that, you see a uh, you see a herd of what look like tech geeks follow uh, dutifully following an orange line with their hands full of technology and you also see several uh, retainers marching along a red line but the black line does seem empty it's not uh, too naturally many. it seems well I guess he's not exactly the most uh... well everyone has their duties elsewhere I guess is what I'm saying I'm the only one. I'm sticking out. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's up another couple spiral staircases until you get to uh, a pair of stainless steel doors with two retainers standing outside. They they just kind of glare at you. I will uh, look at them and go, Excuse me, I must speak to the overseer. It's It's immediate and urgent. What business? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Uh, what, what was the town we were just at called? Uh, uh, yeah, help me out, somebody. Ah, I'm just trying to remember names, and I'm terrible. <laughs> you could make an intelligence check if you'd like. Uh, sure, sure. Let's, let's see if that can help me. Seventh? Hell no! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do this without remembering the actual town name. Okay. I'll say, I have recently returned from my mission to attempt to expel the Children of Liberty, and I, I have failed, but I have discovered something most troubling. They appear to have more allies than we originally thought. Mm. I believe the Overseer would like to know this immediately. Yes. Does sound troubling. All right, head in. He's going to uh, tap his palm on the door handle, and it's, there's going to be a click, and he's going to open it for you. All right. Time to step on in. Okay. So this office is uh, has a guy sitting in a... Uh, what looks like a, a swiveling stool in the center of a ring of, like, command consoles. And on the back... You can like in the in the back of the room. You can see a what looks like a glass case, which with a large black sword sitting inside it. It looks similar to the ones that the normal retainers use, mm -hmm. but it uh, appears to have a bit more attachments on it. Like uh, there's this long cable snaking out the back to a what looks like a power pack above it. He's a uh, guy. Uh, is this there. like a uh, like a penthouse office with like a large uh, picture window behind him as well, or uh, an interior yeah. room? Yes, it is. It has a large window, and it looks like you're actually on top of the wall now. Ooh, okay. Very and, fancy. And of course, this guy is not uh, in his full gear, but this is the only image I have of him. Like right now, he'd just be wearing like a black turtleneck. That's about it, but... Okay. No, nah, actually, I, I'm not going to show you to him. So he, um... He just looks like a... He's a he's a bald guy. He's wearing a eye patch, actually. He looks considerably older than all the other retainers you've seen. And some of his movements jerk every once in a while, like he's got some sort of pain in his arm. Mm -hmm. And he's going to look up to you when you come in. He's like... Yes, can I help you? I I have some troubling news. I've returned from my uh, mission out in the field. You've received my report on that previously, right? Uh, name? Uh, Marius. 
Marius, Marius, Marius. Ah, yes. He's going to scroll through a couple of uh, folders. You know, uh, see, I remember that name, just not anything else. Yes, luckily too. And he's going to uh, scroll through. He's like, ah, yes, Knox Town. Hmm. He's going to look through. Yes, most troubling. And what did occur? Ah, uh, quite a lot. Allow me to relay the events. When we approached, uh, once we were in the city, it appears that they had already evacuated most of the people who were there. Once we had gotten out, uh, they set fire to one of our vehicles, and we knew that we were in danger. We had set up lines up against them, ready to fight the Children of Liberty, before the one I mentioned in my report before showed up. Mm. It doesn't seem too threatening. He did, oh. but it was it was strange and fantastic. He he breathed fire everywhere, and I saw a man explode into bits. He's he, he, by he, a punch. He he's gonna he's gonna scowl and he's gonna say, "Human anomalies, just what we need." And he's gonna kind of look like he wants to spit. But he's not going to spit. Anomalies, sir? I feel it might go beyond even that. Hmm. Well. But what could possibly... Possibly be so anomalous like this? Well, as we know, and as is recorded, human anomalies are becoming more prevalent ever since he's going to trail off. And then he's going to say, uh, in any case, I'm guessing not a lot will be too fantastical in a couple of years. In any case, how were you able to get away? Uh, I think only by their mercy alone. They gave me quite a, quite a talking to, I'll say. Quite a talking to? That doesn't sound like Children of Liberty. Are you sure they were with them? Well, everyone else is dead. Mm, I see. Uh, okay, let me just... Uh... Said they didn't want us returning to that village again. Okay. Like, well... Luckily for us, we can dispatch uh, a couple more peacekeeping forces to make sure nobody returns to that village. If it really is as liberty-ridden as you say. Uh, it's, it's not about being liberty-ridden, sir. The, the one protecting it. This firebrand. The battle took only uh, 12 seconds. <laughs> exactly 12 <laughs> seconds. I counted. I looked down at my watch and I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we can't like possibly guy... afford to send anyone out there. Your guys are just dying. You're just looking at your watch going, wow, it's, they're fast. You'd be sending them out to die in droves. Mm. Maybe this calls for a deployment of the new drones. New drones, sir? I don't think I've heard of them yet. Oh, really? They're the ones uh, patrolling down in the lobby. We've got a few combat models. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen them in, on the, out in the field yet. No, came straight from Seacon, order to authorize and deploy. Obviously, Seacon is a bit... He's going to wiggle one of his hands. Nervous about events of late concerning these human anomalies. Hmm. Yes, yeah, most troubling. I thank you for your report, but is there anything else? Ah, uh, one second. I'm, I'm trying to rack my own brain to think, like, yeah. is there anywhere else I can push this? <laughs> or do I just, like, go ahead and be, like, overly dramatic and make my exit? What, what am I going <laughs> to do here? I'm, like, flipping a coin between, like, being a terrible idiot and just playing it cool. Well, well, well hey, if you, do a, if you do a terrible idiot thing and make a cool exit, that's a hero point for you. This is very true, and it actually will uh, work with my, uh, quote, responsibilities here, I think. <laughs> 
So I will uh, look at him and go, uh, 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 yes, sir, there's just one last thing, one, one, one more thing I, I have to say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, there's just, uh, let me, whew, just one more thing. And uh, I'll look down for a second, and then I'll, I'll look up. <laughs> and as I'm looking up, of course, you know, I'm changing into my costume directly in front of him, back to my normal form. And I look up at him, and I'm taking, like, a pose, one hand on my hip, you know, one, one leg <laughs> bent, all dramatically. I'm just looking across him, across the room, uh, at his, like, console, and just going, don't ever return to that village. Oh, wait. Let's play. Oh, I had a cool sound effect for that. Never mind. He, his eyes are going to widen. And he's going to be like, oh, what? Guards! <laughs> the order can keep its authority as it wishes in the city. But where the people do not wish you to be, do not go there again. <laughs> and uh, as the guards are coming in, I'm going to just, like, pull one of my arms back and just start gathering up, you know, like, the godly fire. So many have seen before they've suddenly died. Uh, and I will go... Uh, flex my wings out and fly up towards that huge picture window with, of course, a giant eagle of fire falling behind. Punch it out and fly through. All right, so you make your heroic exit and uh, get take a hero point for that. Yes. <laughs> and, of course, also dramatically, um, Overseer Rutledge is going to stand at the broken window going... <laughs> Going, I'll get you next time. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> and then it's going to transition. <laughs> and you guys feel a great disturbance in the force, like an important plot development had happened. <laughs> and I assume after you, after you uh, leave, you make your way back to the make your way back to your apartment uh yeah I think so for now unless like the auction house is uh, a okay I think I had plans to like make an anonymous donation on behalf of the children of liberty given their agreement mm -hmm. so I go ahead and settle that up and you know maybe maybe I'll spend a little bit of time out and uh, check out the auction house see if that special thing that I was taunted about a few days ago was still there because gosh dang it Oh, which thing was that? Uh, y you never explicitly told me. Just someone said I ought to be excited about it. And oh! here I am, I'm still excited. I've been oh! taunted with goods. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, I know what it is. I know what it was. Okay. Alright, so assuming we don't get crashed by the Children of Liberty this time. <laughs> I doubt they'd be dumb enough to attack the place twice. Twice in a row after yeah. after meeting me. <laughs> yeah. So you come back in, you get the donations. Like he's he's kind of surprised. Like, oh, I never supposed they'd be you know crawling back. But uh, thanks, I guess. I suppose it's as sincere of an apology as they'll ever get. Yes, I'm. Uh, I suppose so. Now, uh, yes, about that special item. Where are you still interested? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, you tell me about it once, and I just can't get it out of my head. Of course, of course. Uh, I believe it's right here. Yeah, reaches back into his safe after the elaborate opening sequence. And he pulls out what seems to be a simple stone onk. Ooh. Uh, would I happen to inherently recognize it? Uh, yes, this appears to be a onk that facilitates somewhat more direct contact than the rituals you're used to. And it is also a bit more portable. Ooh, very interesting. So I'm just kind of like going through my home and it's like, oh yeah, my ancient cell phone. Ah, oh, I forgot where <laughs> I dropped that. And then I just like look at him, you know, like all smiles and going, oh, this is fascinating. Oh, this must be thousands of years old. 
I think this is the symbol of uh, what is it? And he just like snapped his fingers. Uh, it, eternal life, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. yes. Eternal life, life forces, connection to the afterlife, etc. Yes, I think the symbology is frequently used on pharaohs. In fact, indeed, I believe between uh, an onk scepter and a, a wasp scepter. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. I I have to have this. I think. It's oh, very, fantastic as part of my collection. It's like, very well, it's yours. And then he, like, pulls it back for a fee, of course. Ah! Why do you have to pull up my heartstrings like this? Well, I'm not running a charity here. Oh, I know. But, ah, oh, it just hurts so much having to part with... How much was it? I just, like, stop, like, dead in between, you know, like, my exaggeration. Just, like, figure out the number. It's like a mere extremely large amount. Oh, we are extremely large amount. It'll just like swoon a little bit and just slide my card over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he processes the transaction. He's like, a pleasure as always, and passes the unk to you in like this. Uh, it's like wrapped in this special duraplast case. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna treasure this. Well, he shrugs. It is treasure. <laughs> Ah, uh, literally. Yeah. Ah, well, I look forward to seeing anything else new. Just keep me appraised. You always know you have my money. Give you some finger guns. <laughs> and now I'll turn return home. My new okay. ancient Egyptian cell phone. Okay. It is now morning. Scrap. You you are awakened by an actual light in your bedroom. I will scramble out of that bill because now it's continental breakfast. Well, it turns out when you open your eyes, the light is actually a panel sliding down in front of you. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. So the, the panel that slides down in front of you, you see a conveyor belt moving by this little hole. Oh my. Damn it, that's efficient. I can't be mad at that. <laughs> yes, and, and on each one, it's like a, a little plate of different continental breakfast type things let's see what's the let's see continental breakfast that's like that's like cereal pancakes that kind of stuff right yeah like like i'm like a muffin yeah yeah muff, like a really shitty brand muffin that everyone else because everyone else took the good ones already yeah uh, i mean it, these are all shitty who am i kidding I'm, I'm sitting in a hole in the floor um <laughs> well you're hanging in a hole in the floor yeah i'm not even uh, yeah, i'm not even sitting i see she's at a harness and i'm like excuse me <laughs> about what time of day is this it's maybe like 8 a.m okay uh about 8 a.m uh scrap will get a message from benjamin bing i i and it's going it. to you know uh pop up on screen it's like hey arsenal seems a little busy but could you look something up for me there's something called Seacon. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of important. So, you know, the thing is, when Arsenal tried to tell him how his phone worked, he grabbed his gloves, and that's a no-no. So he yanked them away, and then shit went down. So I don't know how to respond on these things. <laughs> He's going to look at it. He's going to see the message, and he goes, Ah, shit. Shit. Uh, <laughs> you, you make a technology check if you want to figure out how to use it. I can fiddle with it. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, I have two. Wait, no, I have six. In, okay, I have six in technology. That's not bad. Yeah, That's you're like, not a dummy. Yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Yeah, if you had a minus one in that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm literally as smart as a modern teenager. Well, I guess that's still smarter than you. Oh, like what a flex! One more than... <laughs> Jesus. Yikes. Okay. You have no clue what he did to your gloves. Okay, I got it. I, okay, I, cr I grab some food and I try and get myself up and out of this hole real fast. Yeah, so, you, so after like a bit of wiggling, you can maneuver yourself uh, out of the hole with breakfast in tow. 
okay, I'll I'll set I'll you know, deep breaths, you know, it's all smoky and gross because that's how this place is, but I'll take the food and I'll set it down and I'll rummage in my backpack for the burner phone that I still have. Oh jeez. And I'll redial Benjamin. Bing. Hello. I don't know how the thing in my gloves work, so I'm talking to you through the phone. Um, oh, okay. Well, uh, well, obviously you are if you're calling me. So, uh, how's it going? What was everything you said? <laughs> uh, well, let's start with the first word of like, uh, uh, wait, no, you you mean actual context? Oh, right. Well, uh, I did my snooping around, and well, I found out a few things that were interesting, and a few things that weren't, and uh, met some nice people and told them to fuck off. But uh, yeah. short of it is. Well, wait, and I'm just gonna say, in the uh, as this is happening, you see, um, Sc- uh, Scrap can see on like the little TV behind the reception area <clears throat> that there is news coverage of the uh, of the smoking or just local headquarters. Well, I mean, it's just the window. Yeah, they, but, maybe but... they just dropped more smoke and burned it all for dramatic effect. <laughs> Hey, the, the 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 dramatic effect in Rule of Cool demands that that part caught on fire. Of course, of course. Scrap is like okay. So let's see how how's he got this. He's got the he's got the phone in his right hand, kind of pinched between his thumb and his middle finger, and he's got the the crappy little like plastic fork they gave him, trying to eat some really badly made scrambled eggs. And he sees it in the in the in the on the television. He goes, "I to- I gave you." One job. <laughs> if you were gonna burn the place down, you gotta call me. Ah, uh, I know, and I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to, but there was just this wonderful moment where you know I was looking him eye to eye. And I'm like, I could drop my disguise, and I could be so cool about it. You it drop? You dro- hold on. You drop your disguise? What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, I mean, I had to tell him to fuck off. I, I can appreciate. I can't do that if I'm like playing as like some whimpering acolyte. You could just burn down the place out of a broom closet. Well, I'm not there to kill everyone. Oh. I mean, I'm there. To, I was there to send a message and also try to learn things on the down low, and it kind of worked actually. You know, I their interface really nice. Wait a second, I was talking about something. Right, uh, things I actually learned. So, their organization's kind of interesting. Everyone's very, very set in stone, is what I'm going to describe it as. There's a lot to it, but that's, um, <clears throat> that's the best way I can do. It's like there are a whole bunch of robots. We'll say that. I could have told you that. Sure you could. I what told you probably you, couldn't I tell me that is that, now. Is that uh, each sort of cell kind of operates on its own with an overseer, and those overseers report to something called Seacon. Seacon? Indeed. They don't seem to have much information about it on their uh, computers. But they apparently take orders from it, and apparently the Seacon thing created the orders in the first place. But they don't have like much information on like their philosophy, its origins, who wrote it, why. It's just there. All right, so, oh, wait, and he, uh, this guy's going to look over. Is there the person at the front desk? It's Shaolene. So she's obviously not paying attention to me? No. Great. Uh, he's going he's gonna to look over. He's going to see Charlene. He's going to go back to the phone. He's, so we're going to burn down Seacon, right? Well, that's the thing. I know who they are. I don't think they know who they are. Or at least a lot of them probably don't know it exists. Hmm. They're not they're a very curious bunch in that way, I don't think. They're curious um, for a lot of other reasons, just not that reason. Well, all right. Um, oh, want to know another fun fact? Well, I do know that if you take a transistor and you put it through an old hovercraft engine, then it will explode. That's a fun fact. Well, you know, if you wrap up your uh, tea bags in, in some paper, you can keep them till the next day. But uh, a more a interesting bag? fun fact is, uh, you remember the company Arsenal was talking about that he does not like. Scrap's gonna kind of rack his brain. You I mean he was paying attention, but you know words are lost. 
Yeah. They were there. Not not physically, but they had stuff there. Stuff with their symbol on it. So... Whoever Seacon is is working with this company and the Ordress. Well, I mean, I got we got work to do, I guess. I gotta... Yeah, there's a bit of a trifecta, and... Well, I mean, I kind of burned my angle on it, but there wasn't a whole lot else I could necessarily get out of it, I think. That pun was not necessary. I got what you mean, but... <laughs> Wait, what pun? That... You, you didn't see it? See you know it? what? That's mine. I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Oh, all right. S surprise me with it sometime. That'll be fun. Yeah. No, I'm just going to make fun of you for it. But yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I'm not that great of an investigator. Like, full, full on out. But, uh, well, uh, you're, you're a smart kid. Arsenal's busy. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, hey, you're a really smart kid. You got this. Also, Arsenal is busy. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, well, I'm going to finish my breakfast. And I don't mean, what, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to ask? I've already talked to Walnut Bob yesterday. Like he's doing fine. The kids are great, but everyone else down here is nuts. Hey, you guys I need should... some help down. There? Should I come on by? I mean, like I got this new cell phone I was gonna play around with today, but uh, I mean, I can make some time. This guy's gonna kind of sit there. He's gonna rattle his fingers on the. Is it? I think it's just whatever the floor is made out of. Like ceramic tiles. It's like. Okay, real fast, I gotta level with you. I just slept in the floor. And you got money, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I I definitely do. Do you got hmm, you got an extra room? I mean at, I'm, I'm at fancy my place? I'm yeah, of course. I got like three different guest bedrooms here. Why do you have three guest bedrooms? Well, you know, sometimes you have three guests over and you're just like, Well, I wonder what I'm gonna do with them. And, you know, it just, it's just not nice to tell people to sleep on the couch. I've been told that quite a few number of times. This guy's just sitting there going, I've never had guests over. Well, you, you know, you're welcome to come on over. Okay, here. Meet me at Scrapyard on 355th. I'm going to meet, I'm going to introduce my friend. And then we'll do some work, okay? Okay, I'll be there uh, around the hour. Depends on how long it takes me to get there. Right. And at this point, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, say goodbye, hang up with you, probably go to my balcony, take like a sip of my coffee, look out across the world, look downwards about 10 degrees, and <laughs> who's that? 10 degrees exactly, <laughs> for no reason in particular. Uh, yeah, Person yeah, yeah. who knows my schedule intimately from the future yeah, just yeah, is I mean, there waiting for me to look at him. Yeah, no, I'm probably <laughs> down there waving, which is why, you know, the eye is attracted to movement. <laughs> How horrifying. I just, like, put my hand up to my head, just, like, squint and look down and go, What? <laughs> it's Walter. Then suddenly he's in front of you. My name is Walter. He's from Amazon. Hi, Walter. I work at Amazon. <laughs> That's been dead for years. Every... It got absorbed in, like, 20 YY. I don't know when that is. <laughs> Hold up, let me get closer. I will, like, uh, step inside, turn to my bird form, fly over to his balcony. That's further away. And then uh, re-transform next to him. Okay. Hi. Hey, how's it going? So, didn't know you actually lived right across from me. Well, I guess I kind of moved into that penthouse not too long ago, but... Uh... What are you talking Hi. about? You've been here before. <laughs> I'll just kind of look into it and go, hold up a second. Wait, this is my old apartment. <laughs> I know. Moved you... all my stuff out of here last, <laughs> last month. You recommended it to me. But, oh, and I'm just going to put my head in my head. It's like, recommend it? I, I'm sure I would. I was going to put it up on the market, but I thought I sold that off. Do I just not remember your name? I mean, I leave that. You can think, you can think what you want. You just like see like the conflict on his face. Yeah, I mean, hold, hold up, no, no, no. Look, I'm, I'm not. I have no idea who you are, but how do you know me so much? What do you mean you don't know who I am? 
We've been friends forever. Benjamin? Uh, Benjamin's gonna, like, cross his arms. How long of forever? Well, obviously, how old do I look? I say that out loud. Good Ooh. question. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec. Uh, da, 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 da. No, you know what? I put down age down to zero because I'm immortal, so I forgot. <laughs> I guess I probably look around 30s, mid 30s. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, I mean, at least give a sideways glance, like I'm trying to feel it out. Twenty years. Twenty years. Okay, reverse time. Ten years? <laughs> Ten years. Reverse time. Five years. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Five years and I've never made time for you? I know, right? That's more of an indictment on you than it is me. Oh, that doesn't sound like me. You always call for help when you need tech support, but we never have time to hang out when I want. I know there's something else going on here, I just don't know... what. What do you mean something else is going on? Uh, I would like to just, like, casually insight, uh, if that's possible, just to see, like, how much, uh, he is gaslighting me. <laughs> uh, shall we go with that? Is that, like, an opposed <laughs> roll or something? Uh, I guess um, so, if you want to, like, roll deception against me. Yeah. Oh, man. I used to have deception, and I took points out of it. Oof. And then you took an arrow to the knee. Can I counter persuade you? Persuade you that I'm not gaslighting you? No, unfortunately. Well, that's the thing, this is just me to, like, get a better feel out of, like, what's going on. Here's the problem. Yeah. How I'm... genuine are you in every single thing that you say to me? Never gonna beat an 18. Oof. I mean, conversely, I can always just rewind time if you, it gets too difficult for me. He's pulling one over on you. Ah, he sure is. Just... I don't know who you are, but the fact that I... Well, the fact that I've seen you twice at all already kind of makes me feel like there's something faded happening here. Wait, what? The fact I've seen you twice already? <sighs> Do you not run into people on a regular basis? Well, not in the city of Vice, like... but normally I don't run back into them the same way. Well, you've never flown into my window as a bird before. You're right, because I don't do that for anyone. Right. Well, I'm just saying, we've not done this the same way before. So, my question is, who are you really? I'm what is this Walter. all about? I'm Walter Stonkertz. I'm your best friend, Benjamin. Well, I mean, you can be my best friend, but you're not my best friend yet. We've been friends for five years. How long does it take before you accept somebody into your life, Benjamin? Maybe about 3,000. We're not talking cosmological time scale here. Okay, I think it's finally time for me to go back 3,000 years to meet Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> and then live a full life. But you have, like, literally no more information. Where are you going to go 3,000 years of the past? Okay, I'll... You own that building next door, don't you? Um... Well, not the whole building. That's oh, I thought you address. did. I thought you owned the whole building. I thought it was your corporation. Oh, right? that, that'd require, like, a few billion, I think. I don't know. I thought you had, like, a whole corporation and they owned the whole building. I own, like, a co-op. Oh. I owned a business, like, 80 years ago. Wait, I don't no. know. You're an immortal 60? god. I just assumed that you built a corporation sometime in the last thousand years. Did I say... When did I say that? For some reason, I guess I just assumed you were more successful than you were. And that makes me an immortal god? I think I, we're, the problem we're having here is I'm having an out-of-character conversation and you're having an in-character <laughs> yeah. conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've been in character this whole time trying to interrogate you. Yeah, this explains why you're asking me weird questions back to my responses. It's like, wait a yeah, second. I'm, I'm sorry, I, like, dropped out for one question, then I guess the context changed, my bad. Oh, you know, yeah, because I said I was going to go back 3,000 years, but that yeah. was a out-of-character comment, so... Right, right. Yeah. I, thought, I would say, in character to you, yeah, I'm going to go back 3,000 years so we can be friends. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, let's just... So, 
I'm Benjamin, you're Walter. Why are you here? What, are we starting over again? Well, sure, I mean, we didn't get a whole lot of time to really introduce uh. ourselves. You were kind of knocked out in the car for a bit, and, um... When was I knocked out in the car? Not... Okay, I was knocked out. Uh, <laughs> let me remember history my way. Well, I fell out of a car, and you rescued me when I called you by name. Do you not remember? See, there's a problem here with my whole time-skipping trick, is that I have to it remember It doesn't help everything. if I'm actually terrible at remembering. Yeah, I know, and the problem yeah. is that I remember everything, so I just have to explain it back to you all the time. And every time I'm explaining it as I remember it, which is the timeline that I've created, so... Alright, but uh, Benjamin's still gonna look at you and go like, Yeah, let's just, let's just start over right now. What? What are you? What, you, what What's am your I? deal? I work at Amazon. I'm a solutions architect. Alright, but there's more to it than that. Why do you live across from me? Because you How recommended you that I buy this place. What do you mean, out in the middle of nowhere? You recommended this apartment to, to me. I don't know who that is. You see, that's a little bit of the problem. Why is that a problem? Because it was a godly entity, and something that casually destroys it makes me really concerned. I am going to gesture to the only piece of furniture in the house, which is a single <laughs> chair in the middle of the room. And I'm saying, Ben, I think you need to take a seat. <laughs> take no. I'll, I'll like peek my head in, like see like the one like fold out chair, and go. You need help moving in. No. It's 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 not take a seat, it's take the seat. No, right. I just think you need to sit down, that's all. Alright. I'll I'll go ahead and take the seat. Alright, and I'm so gonna let's like... take the conversation inside. Well yeah, we are inside. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna look at you and I think I think there's something seriously wrong.